Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to Open TTD. Now, uh, it's been a little while since I did some recording. Um, for those of you who don't know, I record one to two weeks in advance. And that's in case I'm going anywhere or anything like that. Also allows me to get a bit of a buffer. I've got to work with a buffer. Um, so, you know, I can't really remember exactly what I was doing uh, last time I was recording. So, oh dear, that goes up too. That's okay, never mind. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to extend this out. I've got a power station and a farm down here. Probably just going to connect up the farm. There's another power station as well. Yeah, probably just going to connect up the farm, so... Uh, no need to worry too much about that. I have started with the wrong kind of... There we go, we need to convert that to electric. And... Uh, I think it's just a standard station just to start today's episode off. We'll start off with... Um, just putting a, a little one in here. Um, do I want number of tracks four? Yes, length four. That way. Okay, I'll just pop it in. Well, I wanted it right in front of that, but that's not going to really be possible. So I'm going to put that one in there. Um, I do want it to be six at least, though. Probably eight, and the reason for that is it's got a long way to go. Um, I'm just going to do that like that. Yeah. So the reason is it's got a long way to go. It's got a very long way to to uh, collect all its goods, or rather deliver all its goods. I'm just going to put this on. This one's going to probably. Oh, we've got a, a, a change in the land height, which I didn't notice. I'll get rid of that. So yeah, it's going to be going a long way to drop off its off its goods, and uh, that means it's going to take a while to get there and back. So um, I think I'm going to do that like that. Yep, and then because I want signals on the exit, I think. I'm going to try to do that. Now I've had some questions in the comments uh, recently about um, farms and whether destroying land affects how much uh, gets produced etc but uh, I personally don't know. I've seen a few people try to answer that question on behalf and um, I think the general consensus from everybody is it doesn't make a blind bit of difference. Um, I think I'm going to... Yeah, there's my signals, so I'm going to control drag them all the way down. And uh, these ones as well, where I find the end. There we go. So at the minute, we're running with the theory that it doesn't make a difference and that you can just do whatever, it doesn't matter right, uh, I am missing a section of track there there we go, let's get some signals in one way path here hmm I've changed my mind, I'm not going to do the uh, do it like that I'm going to do it like that and that. There we go. So where's those signal? I'm going to leave those path signals in there, and you'll probably see why in a moment. Uh, and then we're going to put some more in here. Yep. They're one-way ones. Yep. 
Uh, that'll go into here fine. Then coming out. One, two, three. Three, three, three. Okay. And then one there and one there. Perfect. Now the reason why I said you'll see why is because I'm going to put in depots like so. And this being such a long piece as well, I think we're going to need some depots along the way. So um, let's just bring that out like so. Cross over a couple of sections and bring it back. We'll do the same on the other side. And bring that back in. Oops, that's not really symmetrical. I do prefer things to be symmetrical. It is nice when it is. Um, let's get the signals back up. One way path. Um, let's just remove these ones here and here. And then one way paths in there. Uh, no, wait, signals remove there and there. That should do it, I think. I think that might be all the signalling we need on the main line. I'm just going to put a signal coming out and then a standard one going in. There we go. Not the best way of doing a depot, but it will do for now. So, uh, starting off with depots over here then. New vehicle, and we're on these brilliant electric ones now. And I want livestock van. There we go. I'm going to go here, and then go all, all the way over here to Wambridge. And it's a full load, full load there, okay. So I'm not going to get that going yet, I am going to get another electric vehicle, fill it up with livestock. God, they're breaking down all over, aren't they? One more livestock van, there we go. And train 127 is going to go to the same place as 126. There we are, got the same orders. But now I'm going to hold control and I'm going to do some control clones. So, well, hang on a minute, I gave that one the wrong... I gave it livestock, I didn't want livestock. I wanted grain, grain hopper. <sighs> there we go. It's fine. Orders are all the same, so... Uh, clone train, yep, so we've got two of them, three of them, four and five, two, three, four, five. So I've got ten trains down there. Um, all are going to be coming up to Wambridge Factory through this weird junction that I've seen to have created. Um, just depots on the outside of that one, but that's fine because there's a nice junction block before it. Um, platforms, um, we're going to call these over here, um, let's place a sign, uh, pl platforms, oh I didn't, missed a typo, platforms 1 to 3, yeah, so for platforms 1 to 3, that's where the goods go, um, we're not actually got enough goods trains zipping around at the minute. And they seem to be coming in and out here, coming in there okay, getting a little bit slowed down through this junction. So, I think, I'm tempted to take this whole flaming junction out, you know. I mean, what's the point? It doesn't go anywhere. Is it going to? Well, probably not, because, you know, this city's in the way going this way, and 
There's nothing really much I want to do over there. So, right, that's it. It's going. Right. Um, I just realised that I haven't actually increased the bandwidth of that line either. Uh, let's remove it from here and here. I'm just going to complete. Shall I leave it all in so I could put it back again? Oops. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. Oh, too much deforestation. Plant trees. Plant trees. Uh, it didn't happen. Didn't happen. Um, right. Yeah. So. Um, I think what I'm going to do is if I remove that like to there yes and if I remove that to there and this middle bit here um, and and then just see oh I could go directly diagonal but there's a there's a change in the land height so I won't do it for now what we'll do is we'll leave what was the remainder of this junction? Oops. Oh no, it's okay. There we go. So we left what was left of the junction in case we want to rebuild it back out again. But for now, we're going to increase, massively increase the flow there to. Uh, one bridge platforms one and th one to three at the one bridge factory. Uh, seems to be all flowing okay around here at the minute. Uh, let's get these trains going over here. So we've got uh, right at the other end of the uh, Lincoln network on the right on the very south side. We've got a lot of trains out on their way, and uh, I've got five of each different type and six platforms which means there'll always be one spare platform for one type even if uh, all five of the other ones are sat there waiting and I always do that so for example if I have ten passenger trains and eight mail that uh, mail trains I would have eleven uh, platforms minimum to cover for all of one kind plus one more it's probably not needed, but um, yeah, these trains here are going to sit here for quite a while, but it's going to take them a while to get there and back, so that's fine for now. This junction seems to be a little slow around here. I might try and put some sort of underpass in. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Um, as part of the upgrades and the northern end of the Lincoln network here, um, I'm going to connect up here to uh, Lincoln send, uh, Station um, place summons. Yeah, our platforms one to four. Um, I'm going to. I want to remove this depot and put it in a different place, but. There's not much room, so we might have to just go with one depot here. Um, which, you know, that'll do. It's not too bad. So that's the station sorted out. Oh, no, it isn't. Let's um, make sure we've got some signals in as well. So one-way paths here. You could use one-way paths and paths over the whole network. I've said this in earlier videos, but to be honest, I just find it better to uh, to use those other ones, be plainly because uh, you know you're saving on a bit of processing power in, in some ways. I'm going to temporarily get rid of these depots and the lights surrounding them. Apparently there's a train there. Why is there a train? There's two old trains there. Okay, well let's get rid of them. We'll sell them. And uh, let's carry on with the electrified construction. And we'll demolish the depot and that bit. Um, we'll repair 
the central lines first. There we go. At least our trains can get back to it and resort. I'm going to have to work on the land around here just to. Oops. Hmm. Interesting that. Um. Kind of forgot about this canal. Um. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. So, and there we go. No canal anymore. Canal wasn't being used. Increase our efficiency. Although, having said that, the bridge was a pretty good one anyway. And then connect the platforms one and four. Uh, one, two, three, four. At Lincoln. Lincoln Station. Um, the only problem here is, is that I haven't completed the uh, signals. Um, I'm just going to do that now. I think. Yeah, there we go. So we've got standard signals all the way along here. You've got different spacing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How very strange. I'm going to remove them and then start from here. No, it doesn't seem to want to change them all, so let's put that right first. There we go. Ah, oh, terrific. No, it isn't. For some reason it changed around here. God, all the signals are a right mess, aren't they? Right. No, not a tunnel. I pressed the wrong button there, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to take all the signals off. Um, yeah, all those signals on this top side. Just realised that means my trains might crash. Uh, I'm hoping that th that is not the case. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, so enter entering the signal block here, path signals, path signal there and there. I'm going to remove them from here and here, just standard exit ones. Uh, go to Lincoln Station. Oh no! Oh, I uh, yeah, I thought that might happen. Um, just fast forward for a bit. It didn't happen. Quick lads, clear it up before the p press come. We don't want to. I'm gonna have to replace them as well. Go on, clear it away. We don't want anybody to see. Don't look. It's fine. Oh dear. Um, let's check out some other things around here, some of the other beautiful sites. Monorail station looking pretty well, well, and, ah good, it's gone. Right, so, oh, it was always a risk, it was always a risk. Um, so I'm going to do, from there, and then I'm going to add that there. There we go, that's all nice and neat now. Perfect. And I'm going to add extra ones in here. Um, checking here. Yep, they all look good. So, signals all along there. Yep, slightly different around the turn. I'm just going to remove those ones. That'll, that'll be fine. I'm not too bothered about around this corner. Ooh! A new maglev mo locomotive? <sighs> maglev, maglev. Um, no. Yes. Cool, maglev. That was good timing, actually, because um, 
I've now finished the with the alterations around on the north side of the Lincoln network. Um, I do feel that I need to replace a couple of these uh, trains. So let's um, shift clone that one twice. I think there was two trains involved in that incident that never happened. Uh, hopefully they can. Oh my word, it's getting worse. Let's um, let's check down here. Oh yep, lots of trains waiting to get out of there. Trains are all stacked up round here too. And I presume that they're just toddling off bit by bit. There's one probably on its return journey. Yeah. I'm just going to double check. I've got a bad feeling. Livestock. Why is he sat there? Why is he heading for Wanbridge Factory? Where oh. Um. I think I missed. Um, yep, missed a signal there, and it caused a lot of problems. Fair enough. They're all uh, cool. Right, so uh, we'll have to keep an eye on this. Uh, on platforms one and three, one to three, um, at Wanbridge uh, Factory, and uh, yeah, I think that's that's allowing them all to flow a lot better. They seem to be coming in and out of that junction quite happy. Very busy round here. It's not um, not one of the most efficient stations, especially if they're all using this depot. Probably actually need to put some depot in. Yeah, let's put a depot in. And I'm going to put it going across from here uh, to here. No, 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 there. Hey, why does that look different to me? Uh, it looked wonky, but it's not. Um. There we go. One way paths there. Standard entrance there. Standard entrance there. We're just going to change. Uh, we'll remove those ones, those ones, those ones, and those ones. That's working out. Hey, eh? what the? What? Why did you do that? Or did he? I suppose it also gives them ch chance to ch change lines here. And the idea is this: is that if they need to use the depot, they can do so before they get to the station, and that should free up, free up better movements in the station. Excellent. Right. Okay. Well, that has um, done a lot of fixing between Lincoln and Wanbridge Factory, and we've also extended right down here. You see, look, it's empty now, no beggars here. It's alright, they'll be back in a bit. In fact, they might be... No, they're still on the way there, look. Still on the way there. Some of them are just, just starting to come in, I think. But um, this system looks like it's holding up okay around here. Uh, I might move these depots and I might put some depots in around the factory. Um, 
which is still producing more goods than we're picking up, just about. Righty tidy, well, I'll leave it there for now. Um, like I said before, maglevs next time. That'll be interesting to see what that's about because I don't think I've ever done a game that's gone as far as maglevs. We're now in 2020, we've gone into the future. So, um, for now, thank you very much for watching. I've been Master Hallish, this has been OpenTTD, and until I see you next time, goodbye.